Hey everybody, it's Tom, WA2IVD. So as you can see behind me, making a little bit of progress with the shack. I uh, haven't gotten everything completely finished the way I want, but I decided it's time to get some stuff set up and get moving again, and we'll kind of keep finishing things as we go. Uh, I do have an antenna up. Um, of course, they just stopped talking. So... I did get an antenna up. We'll do a little bit of information about that here in an upcoming episode, and we'll get back to the radios in an upcoming episode. But this time, I wanted to do a quick update, given the season that we're all in right now. Uh, this is August 2020, as this is being recorded, and uh, unless you have been uh, hiding in a cave for the last uh, six or seven months, you probably know there's a pandemic going on. Uh, there's various controversies about it, which I have no intention of getting into. But one thing that's fairly well accepted is that it's a good idea to sanitize and disinfect, you know, equipment and things that you're using and you might be sharing with other people. So I wanted to do a quick update tonight on updating... on updating? No, I wanted to do a quick update on sanitizing and disinfecting your radio gear and uh, just give you some information that I found on that and what I do for my stuff and we'll talk about the different types of sanitizing um, chemicals that are available. And then one other quick update, the website to uh, reference this channel is finally up and running. It is a2z.tech. Uh, you should be seeing it on the bottom of your screen and there is a link to it in the description very much a work in progress right now, but it does have links to some of the popular videos, the most recent video, the playlists, um, some other channels and podcasts and such that I uh, enjoy and like related to ham radio and technology. Uh, and there is some links to things that you've seen on some of the videos, USB cables uh, and some other stuff that I've shown in videos and may or may not have talked about. Uh, Truth in Advertising, those are affiliate links, but it doesn't change your price on anything, but if you buy some of the stuff, I get a little bit of a commission, so uh, that's up to you. Um, but anyway, that's kind of the update on the website. So my plans for the future are to add an index, a searchable index, so that you can search for particular topics on the radios or just topics in general and hopefully it will take you to the correct videos. So that's some of the future plans. Anyway, thanks for putting up with my introduction. Let's uh, take a quick look at some of the sanitizing stuff. Let's take a look at some of the options for sanitizing and disinfecting our radios and electronics. First, we've got bleach. Just regular household bleach. Of course, you would dilute this, but even diluted, this is not a good choice for sanitizing radios, plastics, and anything electronic. And the reason is bleach is corrosive to metals, among other things. It's also not very good for your skin if you were going to do this without gloves on. So I would strongly recommend against using bleach because if you were to accidentally get any through the knobs or buttons and it got inside the radio and onto a printed circuit board, it would probably start corroding some parts. So we're going to pass on bleach. The next item here, this is just a, a hand sanitizer gel. And I think probably you can all guess that we really don't want to use a gel. And the reason we don't want to use a gel is because you're going to get that into your buttons and in between knobs and it's probably going to make things stick. And there's also some ingredients in here that I'm not sure are necessarily the best thing for plastic. The next one that we have here, no, this is not a bottle of uh, gin or vodka. This is actually hand sanitizer, at least in my area, a number of the local distilleries have started making hand sanitizer, and of course they've got these bottles lying around, so that's what they're packaging it in. 
and this is made with ethanol alcohol. But if you take a look at the uh, other ingredients, so it's 80% ethanol alcohol, uh, but you probably wouldn't want to drink this because it's got glycerin and hydrogen peroxide in it as well, and then they just have purified water. But uh, the problem is ethanol alcohol uh, can eat some, some kinds of rubbers. So like certain rubber, if you've got rubber on the knobs or... Um, Probably the cords, coiled cords and things are actually a PVC type covering. But if there's anything rubber on your radio, um, and some plastics also can be dissolved, I would probably stay away from ethanol. And I don't really know what hydrogen peroxide is going to do to plastics. For a short exposure, it's probably not so bad, but I'd stay away from this one as well. The next one that we've got on the list, this is, of course, the brand name, but basically disinfecting wipes. Now, even though this is Clorox, these do not have chlorine bleach in them. And if you look at the uh, instructions, it does say that it's safe for most surfaces. So these are probably okay. Um if you look at the Motorola website, and I'll talk a little bit about that in a minute here, they actually suggest not using any kind of, they say sanitizing sprays, but any commercial sanitizing uh, products. And we'll talk about the Motorola page in just a moment, and I'll put up a link to that as well. Finally, isopropyl alcohol. And this is what I've been using for disinfecting and sanitizing my equipment. This is uh, this is 99% pure. This is a industrial grade that I've bought a couple of bottles of. Um, if you can find it at your local pharmacy or, you know, wherever, department store, grocery store, uh, probably the 70% and 90% that you would find there is, is fine. Um, this one is just basically has just about no water or anything else in it. It's just isopropyl or otherwise known as rubbing alcohol. The reason I use this is I'm going to go back to the Motorola website, and I'll put a picture of that up on the screen here. Uh, the Motorola website, and there's a link to this, by the way, in the uh, description for this video. They've got the best... Um, advice or the best instructions I've seen for cleaning and sanitizing radios. This is a PDF that you can download and they recommend isopropyl alcohol and they don't recommend bleach or anything else. I've also looked at a number of other manufacturers, radio manufacturers, electronic manufacturers, websites, and some of them have instructions or guidance for disinfecting things but it's a little bit conflicting. I actually did see one that suggested using bleach in a 10% or you know, 1 to 10 solution with water. Again, I don't recommend that at all. The Motorola website specifically does not recommend that. And um, I've seen other, again, websites that recommend different things. Some of it's a little bit conflicting, but I think the Motorola one's got the best guidance, and I really like the idea of using isopropyl. So let's take a look at how we're going to do this. I've just got a roll of paper towels. If you want to use like a lint-free cloth or a microfiber cloth, that's fine. Pretty much every piece of advice that I've seen anywhere about sanitizing electronics or, or radios is pretty universal in that you don't want to spray or pour liquid on the equipment. I'm just going to wet the paper towel. If you wanted to put this into a spray bottle, that would be fine too. But I'm just going to basically wipe down the face of the radio. And one of the things that I like about the uh, isopropyl is that it evaporates pretty quickly. And because this is pure isopropyl, there is it doesn't leave any streaks or other marks at all once it evaporates because there's no other materials in there to contaminate it. So that's pretty much it. If you're, if you're at some sort of a uh, special event uh, station or club event station, or if you're working a contest with either a club or a few other people, 
uh, during this time and you want to make sure that you keep your equipment safe in between I would suggest a bottle of isopropyl alcohol and then you can just uh, wipe everything down with that and then you've got a nicely uh, sanitized station when you're done well that does it for this time I hope you found this useful as always if you did find this useful or enjoyed the video I would appreciate a click on that like button if you're enjoying the channel please consider subscribing with the subscribe button and then you can click on the little bell if you want to be notified when new videos are coming out and as I said at the beginning, you can look in the description for a link to the website. I'm Tom, WA2IVD. As always, thanks for watching. Ham Cured Smoke.